All right. Uh, I want to talk about the, this Kanye West thing here. It's the most ridiculous story ever. It all ties back into with the Queen, uh, with gay marriage, and even Freddie Gray and the uh, the race war they're trying to start. So Kanye West um, headlined at Glastonbury, uh, the festival in Glastonbury where they play on the pyramid stage and whatnot. But uh, I guess he did a, a terrible cover of the song Bohemian Rhaps- Rhapsody by Queen. And the first thing that I think about when I think of this song um, is the Bohemian Club, right? From San Francisco, the the Owl Club or whatever. Um, but they're based out of San Francisco. Been talking about San Francisco like crazy. Um, and anyway, you know, so we got, I've been talking about the Queen like crazy too. So we got, the band is called Queen. And the guy who actually wrote the song is the lead singer, Freddie Mercury. Freddie is even spelled like Freddie Gray. And I'll talk more about that in a second. But I mean, what is the first thing you think of when you think of Queen? Like about them, they were the gay band, right? They were Freddie Mercury was gay, died of AIDS or whatever. And I mean, it's just so ridiculous. They've had this the legalizing gay marriage. And then the next day, uh, Kanye West covers the Queen song. And Kanye West is also married to uh, Kim Kardashian. So that is Bruce Jenner's um, stepdaughter or whatever. And pretty much this year, all of the whole gay agenda stuff has started, to me, it started with Bruce Jenner. You know, the Vanity Fair thing and Bruce being a woman, and then they legalized gay marriage, uh, what, 26 days later, I think? Yeah. Uh, it was actually... Um, 25 days later from when he was on Vanity Fair when gay marriage uh, became legal on 626. But, uh, I mean, either way, I've been talking about the 52s like crazy. This all goes clear back to when Kanye West got up on stage with Taylor Swift. Um, But I wanted to point out Bruce Jenner. I I talked about this before, but, I mean, the dude was born in 1949. I've been talking about 49 with Valentine's. and pie and whatever else he's also going to be 66 so two sixes uh the guy went to newtown high school in connecticut where sandy hook is i mean this lady who shot the vanity fair uh whatever the picture she was born in 49 and not only did kanye cover bohemian rhapsody uh a guy ran up on the stage and uh took like started singing with him or mocking him or whatever kind of like he did to taylor swift and then uh he he tweet he got kicked off the stage or whatever and uh tweeted later that uh he kanye uh kanye uh for taylor swift so just pointing that out because they're showing you that you need to look back to taylor swift and kanye west so let's take a look at some of the numbers here so the name freddie adds up to 51 and then freddie gray at Uh, Just gray added up to 51 as well. So Freddie Mercury is spelled just like this. And he's the guy who wrote Bohemian Rhapsody. Kanye West in uh, Pythagorean Gematria adds up to 51. Taylor Swift (laughs) adds up to 51. The word Confederate adds up to 51. Dealing with Freddie Gray and the Confederate flag and all that. Bohemian Rhapsody is famous. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much... Where I heard the song from, even, it's from the movie Wayne's World. Wayne's World adds up to 51. And uh, Kanye West also at this concert, everybody, like 100 and I think it was 135,000 people signed a petition uh, saying that that they didn't want him to play. They wanted a band uh, because Foo Fighters were originally supposed to play and then Kanye West played. So all these people uh, didn't want him to play. And, like, his kind of, like, F you to them was he did this song or whatever, and then he uh, he told them that he was the greatest living rock star on the planet, but he's a rapper or a hip-hop artist or whatever, so he's not a rock star, but the word rock star is 51. So then, also, like I said, Bohemian Rhapsody, it reminded me of the Bohemian Club that's in San Francisco, or it was started in San Francisco. But the word Confederate flag also adds up to 122. Pope Francis adds up to 122. Um, 
like Bohemian Club, it even says 122 West, that's San Francisco. But uh, you scroll down here, and it actually ties back to the American Civil War, wouldn't you know? I mean, so basically, uh, culture journalists flourished as self-described Bohemians until the American Civil War broke them up and sent them out as war correspondents. During the war, reporters began to assume the title Bohemian, and newspapermen in general took up the moniker. Bohemian became synonymous with newspaper writer. California journalist Bret Hart, go figure, a Hart reference to love, but it says he first wrote as the Bohemian in the Golden Era in 1861. So interesting, it goes back to the 61 that I've made previous videos on with Abe Lincoln, Obama, and... Um, how he might be getting assassinated. Also found it interesting, I uh, just clicked on Mark Twain. I've done some stuff on him, and I never realized before he, is actually, he actually died on the, the same day as the Queen. The Queen Elizabeth II was born, but uh, I guess it was 16 years before. But interesting, he died age 74, and this day is really special because uh, from the Queen's reign, or her, the beginning of her reign, is 74 days to her birth and then 74 days to july 4th 7 4 is after her birthday so also um i wanted to talk about wayne's world because wayne's world really popularized or however you say that popularized this song and um let's just look at wayne's world here so it started out on saturday night live as a skit and then they made movies out of it but look when the first skit was the 49th day of the year in 1989 and i'm telling you like i have a ton of videos about 49 and how it coincides with lupercalia and valentine's and then 1989 the queen is 89 this year taylor swift has an album called 1989 tons and tons of 89 references so even the last episode of wayne's world on snl was actually this year on the last day of lupercalia go figure um it must have been the 40th anniversary of Saturday Night Live. But let's check out this movie here. This is the movie where Bohemian Rhapsody um, was in, in the very beginning. Uh, and look, it came out on Valentine's Day of 1992. The movie was also set in Aurora, Illinois. So we got Obama, that was the senator of Illinois. Um, wow, it even says the 114th most populous city in the country. Uh, that and that goes with like john boehner and oh man just tons of this oh and uh also on the 88th degree west then just the name aurora in general with the batman shooting and whatnot i know i talked about oh family matters an episode of family matters or something to do with this i can't even remember what it was but it was the distance to something and it was it was just ridiculous so anyway uh we'll talk about freddie mercury as well so freddie mercury he he was the lead singer of queen and uh he was gay and he died of aids so like i said we just they just legalized gay marriage i did a big old video on it but uh check it out so he's he's gay he had aids whatever so gay is 33 fags is 33 aids is 33 and i've been talking about space jam um for since valentine's day and how Space Jam and the NBA season was just so, like, predictive programmed. Um, well, the NBA has 82 games in a season. And 1982 was 33 years ago. 1933 was 82 years ago. But also, 1933 if you, uh, to 1982 is a difference of 49 years. And look at Freddie Mercury's name and uh, Gematria. I mean, 9-11... 924 924 and 911 are the same date uh gregorian to julian we've been talking about 923 or 922 923 and 924 and then 911 and then 154 interesting because i mean if you make it a date well let me pull up my deal here <laughs> if you make it a date it would be in europe it would be 15-4 and in america it would be 415 the same day abe lincoln died also, the concert where Kanye West played was Glastonbury, and it adds up to 154 as well. And uh, this is what I was talking about at Glastonbury. They play, they play at the pyramid stage or whatever. It's a, a pyramid stage. 
Also, Freddie Mercury is not his real name. His real name is actually, I can't even pronounce it. It's like Faroka. Here we go. Farouk Bolsara. That's his real name. It's, and then he changed it to uh, Freddie Mercury, but they also called him Freddie Bolsara. But his real name in simple uh, gematria is 151, and Valentine's Day is also 151. And 8-2, like I just talked about, the 82 being 33 or whatever, um, August 2nd would be 8-2, and there's 151 days left. It's also the 214th day, so Valentine's Day, and then 214 is Valentine's Day. And Freddie Mercury died age 45. 45 is Valentine's Day is the 45th day of the year. Um, love is 54, and so the mirror would be 45. It would also be evil. Okay, so this is where it all ties in. I just wanted to talk about some things before I went into everything else. So, um, I said it all went back to Taylor Swift and when Kanye West went up on stage and I'm going to let you talk or whatever. So, Queen Elizabeth II. So, we know with Queen, it has to do with the Queen. Um, she adds up to 168. Taylor Swift, in simple gematria, like I said, she also adds a 51, but... She also adds to 168, just like the Queen. And um, when Kanye went up on the stage uh, because he didn't think Taylor Swift should have won, he said Beyonce had one of the greatest albums of all time or, or greatest videos of all time. But Beyonce Knowles, 168. Also, the song or the album that uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is on is called A Night at the Opera. And A Night at the Opera is 168. So also, 168 of the 168th day is 617, and there's 197 days left. So the mirror day would be uh, July 16th, 716, with 168 days left, and it's the 197th day. But this day, not all the days do this. So interesting, this day mirrors it with the amount of days, but also 617 is the mirror of 716. And, uh, I mean, that doesn't really tie in. I haven't figured it out quite out yet, but I just wanted to point out, thought it was interesting. But what's crazy here, so 627 was the day that Kanye West played at Glastonbury, and I just added 51 days because we had all these 51s earlier. And uh, 51 days takes you to 817, August 17th. Um, August 17th on the Gregorian calendar is the same as 84 on the Julian calendar, and Obama's birthday is on 84. And we talked about him maybe being assassinated it's starting to look pretty real um uh, 817 uh, can also be 17-8 like 178 627 is the 178th day of the year barack hussein obama the second adds up to 178 um 817 is also the 229th day of the year and I'm, i've talked a ton about this number especially with michael jordan and uh, this is the first day that the Pope is going to come to America. So uh, 22-9, 229th day, 229 or 922. I've talked about this, and I've talked about how all three of these go together because of Lupercalia. Also, like I said, Kanye was uh, messing with the crowd or whatever, and he at one point he told the audience, you are now watching the greatest living rock star on the planet. And I said... He's not really a rock star. He's more like a rapper or whatever, but the greatest living rock star because he's alive and Freddie Mercury is dead, I'm, I'm taking it as. And living rock star adds up to 178. Another interesting thing is the words. So Kanye West only, I guess, only did one verse uh, to this song. And you can't, you can't find the whole song or whatever, the whole video they deleted or whatever, but he only sung like one verse. But the first, the first words are, Mama... I just killed a man. So, very, very interesting. And I'll play the clip here so you can uh, just hear what he hear what it says.
uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to re-mention here that the Queen is 89 years old this year. Queen Elizabeth II. 89 plus 89 is 178 as well. So, um, And I, this is the day that gay marriage was legalized. So we got Freddie Mercury, the gay guy, whatever. Uh, and this is the 89th day of the year to 923. They're mirrors or whatever. So like you obviously see 329, 329 or whatever. But uh, to the day that gay marriage was legal is 89 days. And then 626 to 923 is 89 days. So the, the gay marriage day was the halfway point between the two mirrors. The queen is 89. 89 and 89 is 178. And 178 is the, the same day that uh, Kanye did this. So I just wanted to show the lyrics to this song. Like I said, he only sung this first verse. He didn't even sing this part anyway the wind blows and all that so um mama just killed a man put a gun against his head pulled my trigger now he's dead mama life has just begun but now i've gone and thrown it all away mama ooh, whatever so interesting because he's talking about shooting a guy like i said obama whatever civil war stuff from a previous video I talked about with abe lincoln and how he connects to that and whatever um but 627 to 923 is 88 days, and life has just begun. Well, the eights, eights are supposedly representative of new beginnings, so interesting that it's 88 days to 923. 923 is the same as 106, and then I pet go, Obama winks at uh, 106. Um, Mercury, the planet, also has an 88-day orbital period, so like Freddie Mercury... And that's not even his real name, so he changed it to Mercury. The Greek equivalent to that is Hermes. And Hermes is like half of the um, the Hermetic Order guys, they, they worship Hermes Trismegistus. And they have the feast day on May 23rd with 222 days left. And interesting, uh, when Kanye went up on stage with Taylor Swift, Obama made a comment and said that he was a jackass. So jackass is 53 and 26. The 53rd day of the year is 222. Also, the word queen, well, I spelled it wrong there, but queen adds up to 62 and 26, the mirror. And I've talked about how Queen Elizabeth is just surrounded with uh, 26 and 52. And here's just a few just to show you, I guess. The Queen's reign started on 2-6 of 1952. She turned 26 in 1952. She was coronated on 6-2, 62 years ago, born in 1926. Um, this had to do with Back to the Future, 2-6 to 1026. The first day in Back to the Future 2 is 262 days, just like um, 626. And the Queen turned 62 in 1988. You know, not going to keep going into it, but uh, just wanting to point it out that she's surrounded by 52 and 26. So let's start from the beginning here. Let's start with where all this started um, with Kanye West and Taylor Swift. So for one, Taylor Swift was born in 89. Like I said, the queen is 89, but her latest album is called 1989. And they want you to think, they want you to think that it's about uh, the year she was born or whatever, but it's actually totally about the queen. I mean, literally, so this this album came out October 27th, 2014. If you go to the Queen's 89th birthday, it's 176 days, or five months, 25 days, 5 to 5, the mirrors, 52, 25. The Queen took her reign on 2-6 in 1952. 1776 plus 176 years is 1952. I also talked about how if you go from Valentine's Day of this year to um, 8-9, August 9th, like 89, it's 176 days. And if you go 176 days before it, it takes you to 8-22. And converted Gregorian and Julian, 8-22 and 8-9 are the same day. So 176, very significant. Back to the future equals 176. And uh, what's interesting, too, October 27th, in the very beginning of Back to the Future 2, it starts on October 26th, then they go to the future, and then they go back to October 27th, 1985. 
So, and then they have to go back to 1955. And then in part three, uh, he goes back to the Wild West and all that. And the very end of the uh, the series ends on October 27th. So, pretty interesting. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm getting my stuff jumbled up here. Uh, some of these things I want to talk about, I'm mixing them up. But uh, anyway, so back to the Kanye West thing when he says, Mama... Uh, I put the gun to his head or whatever. Well, he could be singing literally about Queen Elizabeth, uh, her mother, the Queen Mother. And I made a video on her about how she died exactly 49 days after Queen Elizabeth's only sister. They were both buried on April 9th, 4-9. Um, it was 22 days, I believe, before the Queen's birthday. Uh, but anyway... The Queen Mother was born on the same day as Obama. It was also 61 years before Obama was born. And Obama Ob Obama was obviously born in 1961. And we've talked about the 61 with the Civil War. Um, you know, like, it started in, on April 12th, 1861. Um, same day Freddie Gray was arrested. And then the first casualty of the war was in uh, April 19th, 1861, the same day Freddie Gray died. I mean, there's just a ton of 61s. 61 plus 61 is 122, which takes you to the San Francisco and Pope Francis. And Oh, man, it's just it's ridiculous. But uh, the Queen Mother also, I wanted to point out, it says, after the war, her husband's health deteriorated, and she was widowed at the age of 51. So when her daughter became queen, uh, she was 51 years old. Okay, so anyway, back to this Taylor Swift here. I'm going to play this clip here. You can watch what Kanye says to her. And uh, this is the 2009 VMAs, and Taylor Swift just won the award for the best female video of the year. Basically, Kanye thought that Beyonce had the greatest song ever or whatever. And Beyonce is 33 years old, born on 9-4 or 4-9, depending on how you, where you are, I guess. So, 49. Talked about that forever. Jay-Z, her husband or boyfriend or whatever it is, Jay-Z adds the 62, just like Queen. Queen adds the 62 and 26. Well, uh, I wanna, this is the song, and this is the music video that she won the award for. And uh, it says it came out on April 18th right here, but if you click on the album that it was on, well, it came out on 11-11 of all days, but uh, it says April 19th right there. The album came out 11-11, but uh, April 19th, the day Freddie Gray died, so it's kind of interesting. Who knows, though, with the, the two different dates, and I looked other places and I can't find the correct one. But the uh, first thing I noticed with this song other than that was the length of it. 3 minutes, 52 seconds. And all 88 times 4 is 352. It also says that uh, Taylor, Swift, Sw Taylor Swift wasn't the only writer and Liz Rose. Well, Rose, I've talked about that with like Derek Rose and the Valentine references. Pete Rose was a big topic this year. There's tons of things. It also says the song is one of the best-selling singles worldwide with the worldwide sales of more than 5.1 million units, just like 51. And remember, Taylor Swift was also in that movie called Valentine's Day. And uh, she won this uh, at the VMAs then, and that's where this all happened at the, the Video Music Awards on MTV. But the video that she won for premiered on may 2nd 5-2 we've talked about this with princess charlotte the queen uh 52 is the or the two fifty second prime is 239 just like 923 and 
So just ridiculous. But check it out. There's even more 52s here then. So that the video aired or it came out on 5-2. Um, but she also won a Grammy for it at the 52nd Grammys. Or I guess she didn't win. She lost to Beyonce at the 52nd Grammys, but she was nominated for it. Anyway, that uh, it was at the 2009 uh, VMAs. And look at the date, September 13th, 2009. So September 13th can be written as 913 or 13-9. And that's like 139. So remember this year at the Grammys when uh, Kanye went up on the stage when Beck won, and then he was it was supposedly a joke or whatever. And I'll just play the clip here while I'm talking. He comes up, fakes him out. Then they show Jay Z and uh, Beyonce's reaction and whatnot. Here we go. Here's where they talk about Jay Z's Jay Z's reaction or whatever, and yeah. See, and they zoom in on them because they have to make it a special thing, and because it happened with Beyonce before or whatever. But uh, you know what's pretty ridiculous here? So I like guess, uh, like I said, Taylor Swift. That all happened on. Let's see here, nine. Or 139, 13-9, 139. And uh, he won Album of the Year. Beck won Album of the Year. And the album was called Morning Phase. And Morning Phase adds up to 139. Also, the Grammys were on February 8th. And then, like I said, the guy came on stage in Glastonbury to mess with Kanye West. And that was on 627 when he played. The Grammys to 627. 139 days i mean no way this wasn't planned I, there's no way especially when he wasn't even supposed to play this anyway and beck his real name isn't beck his or it is but his real name is spelled like this beck david campbell which adds to 122 so then um taylor swift the day that, that happened to her was 9 13 and then just for whatever 222 to 2015 it takes you it's 1988 days like 1988 but uh the reason i found that was because i typed in the taylor swift thing to the day that kanye went uh at the grammys to beck or whatever so taylor swift to beck is 1974 days kind of like the year 1974 and interestingly enough the band queen their second album was called queen 2 kind of like Queen Elizabeth II, that's how she writes it, Queen II, and it came out in 1974. And uh, in 1974, 1974, the Queen was in her 22nd year as the Queen. And just check out this, the album cover here. So Queen II, just like Queen Elizabeth II. I mean, look, look at this album. It's ridiculous. Look at his hands. It's making the V, right? The 22, so her 22nd year as queen, two. But then there's another V, another V, another V, another V, 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 V. And I mean, this might be a stretch, but I just wouldn't put it past them to do it this way. But that would be nine Vs, which is V is 22. So that would be 922, just like I talked about with Obama and Michael Jordan and how it goes with 923 and Lupercalia. And I mean, you know, you might not be, you might say that's not a V right there, and you can't see his thumb right here, but you know that's what he's doing, but also, even if you do it that way, so I mean, that would only make eight Vs. Well, 822 is the same as 89 from Gregorian to Julian. Also, he only has, that would mean only nine fingers are out here, and then he's making the V in the middle, so 922. But it says the album was released on March 8th, 1974. But March 8th, just to 627 this year, is 111 days. And the Queen was born on the 111th day, 421. But yeah, video's longer than crap, so I'm uh, going to stop here. Just, I think 827, definitely a day to look out for. But it's also the 229th day, like I said, so it, it just all leads back to the 922, so... Uh, that's why Kanye West 
that, that's why it's all fake anyway everything so uh, anyway have a great night